you have performed mastectomy and latissimus dorsal flap reconstruction for a carcinoma of breasts in a 50-year-old diabetic patient, to obtain maximum cost basis, you have placed an implant under the myocutaneous flap. Four weeks postoperatively, the patient continues to suffer recurrent wound infection that have proved resistant multiple places of antibiotic. Which of the following organism is the underlying cause? Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, E. coli, Bacteroid, Viridian streptococci. The answer would be Staphylococcus epidermidis. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a part of normal skin flora. This organism is usually non-pathogenic but can cause infection in those patients who have compromised immune system. They tend to colonize in plastic devices and forms biofilm which allows them to colonize along with other bacterial agents. It's difficult to eradicate once the infection is established and oftentimes we have to remove devices that is placed as a part of treatment. It's a catalyst positive and coagulase negative organism. It also causes infection in those patients who have catheters, failure to follow aseptic precautions are often time predisposing factor. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is also an organism which is catalyst positive and coagulase negative. It can be differentiated from the Staphylococcus epidermidis by novo biosensitivity test. As this organism is a part of normal flora, it can contaminate the blood sample that is collected for blood culture. These infections can be prevented by proper hand washing and removing catheters early.